What's up, guys? It's Jay. We're Dan for Kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. Recently on stream, we've started a brand new Maya on Xbox One that I'll be taking from level 0 all the way to OP8. 100% live on stream. Usually, when I level characters up like this, I like to chop up the playthroughs into quick funny clips that we've gathered along the way, but this time, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to do something a little bit more in-depth. What we're going to do here is we're going to follow along each day of progress, outlining what weapons and skills we've chosen along the way, and I'm going to give you a little bit of insight as to why we've chosen them. So I'd like to welcome you to my new series, Making a Maya, the Breast Siren, ever. <laughs> Starting out the playthrough right, RNG favors Maya right out the gate with a level zero Hornet drop from Knuckle Dragger. This is gonna be a key drop going forward, not just because elemental damage over time is very strong early game, but also because the first mini boss we encounter in the story is also weak to corrosive damage, giving us an advantage straight out the gate. However, due to its large ammo consumption and relatively low ammo stocks early game, we gotta use this gun sparingly. The next piece of integral gear we pick up is an instant shield we found in Liarsburg before saving Sir Hammerlock. Usually, you get your first shield from Hammerlock, but we're not going to turn down a level 3 instant shield with a 1.82 recharge rate. At this point in the game, shield capacity isn't as important as having a shield that regens in under 2 seconds. Finally, our last piece of starting gear comes from Hammerlock's Bad Hair Day quest, a level 5 Jacob's Diab. Now, as much as I love seeing Claptrap wear a mohawk made of bully mong fur, I always turn this mission into Hammerlock for a guaranteed sniper rifle. Grabbing a sniper here usually lasts me somewhere till damn near when we save Lilith in Frostburn Canyon. These three weapons, along with the Contraband Skyrocket, will have the pleasure of carrying us all the way to Sanctuary since we didn't end up getting anything from Midgemon, Boom Boom, or Captain Flint. Now that we've made it to Sanctuary, our first true weapon upgrade would have been the three-way Hulk shotgun given to us by Lieutenant Davis if we didn't get our first weapon equip slot SDU in Sanctuary. So instead of needing to replace a gun in our loadout, we've simply added the three-way Hulk to our equipable weapons and also given us a little bit of extra oomph to our firepower. However, our first real upgrade to our gear comes from Corporal Reese's chest, finding an amazing purple TDR fast acting shield with an unbelievable 1.2 second recharge delay, allowing us to take cover and almost immediately start to regen our shields. Since we don't have any gear to self heal this early, like I said before, keeping our shields active will keep us in the fight longer and less reliant on enemy health drops since capacity doesn't matter with shields early game. Your recharge delay is the most important stat. So we decided to go ahead and pick up some extra XP along the way and we're heading out to Southpaw Steam and Power to take on the Assassins. And it's a good thing that we did because there we not only pick up our first class mod, which is a trickster with a boost to 16% fire rate, but we're also going to be able to ditch Hammerlock Sniper a little bit early for this Banbury Corinthian Malawan Sniper. And anytime you get a chance to pick up a Malawan Sniper early game, take it. Take it and run. <laughs> 
At this point, having a Hornet, a three-way Hulk, and a Fire Malawan Sniper Rifle feels pretty good, man. But you know what feels even better? An Unkempt Herald. Sadly, Lee did not have the common courtesy to drop one for us, which isn't that big of a deal already because we already have enough in our loadout to carry us all the way through Frostburn Canyon. Now that we've made it through the first 10 levels, sadly, it's time to say goodbye to our level 0 Hornet and replace it with... Ah, <sighs> <laughs> 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 uh, guys. A fucking level 11 shock plasma caster. Malawan, baby. God damn. Maya's luck is insane. But we're still gonna have to use the plasma casters sparingly, since very much like the Hornet, plasma casters use a lot of ammo. That's just something we don't have a lot of this early in the game. So, we're gonna keep it in our inventory, and we're gonna use it for bigger enemies with higher health values. However, we're still not gonna get rid of the Hornet, since it'll be useful for the Warden fight. And if you thought Maya's RNG so far was already insane, on the way to the Warden fight, we're gonna pick up not only a zero fuse time lobbed Tesla, but also a monstrous rake hell upgrade to our sniper rifle in back-to-back -back chests in Bloodshot Stronghold. And if that wasn't enough, we also picked up a damn near perfect practicable thinking Hyperion shotgun from Flinter. Practicable thinking? Now we're talking. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Is that perfect, too? That's Hyperion and Torg, right? I think it's I think it's perfect, actually. A 1340 shield with a 23% bullet absorb chance and in the dev chest on the way to Wilhelm. We picked up a corrosive, monstrous Snyder, which will allow us to push through Wilhelm's run without any issues and make short work of the first major boss in the game. Finally, that brings us to level 16 with Maya, meaning that we can spec out of Mind's Eye and Wreck and adjust our build towards the Cataclysm Tree and respec into Foresight, Flicker, and Cloud Kill. The reason we're doing this is because Mind's Eye and Wreck are very strong and very valuable skills early game. Much more so than Foresight and Flicker. However, since the last time Borderlands was updated, Cloud Kill was heavily buffed to scale properly into the OP levels, but was left massively overpowered early game, allowing us to pretty much one-shot enemies. So even though Mind's Eye and Wreck are better skills than Foresight and Flicker, since we're able to spec all the way down to Cloud Kill now, we're gonna move over to that tree. It's gonna make us considerably overpowered early game. And that's where we left off with Maya at the end of day one of our making a Maya. So, my name is Jay, morning after kill. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch it. My motherfucking videos. But let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like this style of video? Should I continue this series? Do you like seeing 
what gear that we picked up along the way instead of just seeing me kill myself with the contraband skyrocket over and over again in funny clip bitches. <laughs> but let me know in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. We're an after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later. Travel station request received. Estimated processing time.